And good Thursday morning. Welcome to Newsline. I'm Joy Sesti, WRNJ's News Director. You've probably heard us at time from time to time. Every Thursday morning, we like to bring uh, about local issues and talk about them. Today, we're not only going to be local, we're going to get a little personal. We're going to talk about that, uh, well, that New Year's resolution that maybe you, you didn't uh, follow through on or you did for a while and then maybe fell off the horse. Who knows? Maybe Valentine's Day messed you up and you sat down with that box of chocolates and had Adam. Well, we're, we've got somebody that's going to be joining us this morning. He is here to help us, to motivate, to get back on the horse, to do it, to make this 2015 the year that really does count. You also must know, if we, you've listened to Newsline before, that the second half of the program we divided in two, and the second half is talking about local schools. This morning we're going to hear from the superintendent of schools, David Mango. He's the superintendent of Hackestown. He'll also have Matt Scan with him who is the high school principal in Hackestown and we've got a lot of things to talk about with them very pivotal time with uh, things that are going on in all school districts uh, across the country uh, and right here at home so stick around for that as well uh, first guest this morning is Be Ben Cr uh, Grimace Crimis, and he is the owner of Box Fitness I'm trying to remember how to say the name Ben no, Box Fitness by CrossFit you've got two locations Hackestown and Chester yep. good morning Ben morning and Ben for me here on out. Yeah, Ben's, <laughs> okay. Ben's fine. That's fine. Well, like I was saying, Ben, it's that time of year where, you know, we just feel like we're in the doldrums for winter. That's kind of, eh, I won't say depressing, but it certainly can be. Um, we Maybe we didn't follow through or, or maybe we've been discouraged for one reason or another with with making the, the uh, this year the difference, the year that we get fit. How do you, how do you get people to like recognize it and, and come on in and talk to you? Yeah, well, uh, I think one of the biggest things is, is being consistent. You know, like we know that um, it's one of our core values over at the gym. And it's if you're not consistent with um, fitness, you're not going to be like it's the same with work and personal relationships. If you're not consistent at that, you're not going to be successful. So it's really about, you know, stepping back and looking at your schedule and scheduling in, you know, one to three to five days a week. You know, you set your time aside that you're going to come in and you're going to work out and then you stick to that and you stay consistent for the entire year. I guess don't make it too difficult where you're, you know, you're going to have trouble meeting that, <laughs> that, uh, that appointment, if you will. That exactly. Time frame. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to like, uh, we see it all the time. People come in, they want to start with five days a week or seven days a week and it's just too much. It's not realistic. You need to, cause it, your schedule is just going to get a little screwy on you later. But if you start with two days a week or three days a week and just really commit to that, you know, keep a gym bag on you all day. When you leave the house, you're ready to just go to the gym when you get home. That's a nice trick. And just scheduling around that, you know, like if anybody tries to, you know, you're coming in at five o'clock, let's say, you know, not to put anything in at five o'clock. No, five to six is my time. I'll be all set. 601, yeah, I can start to schedule things with my family and kids and, and work stuff. But that five to six time is, is your your spot. And then you stick to that, you know, two or three days a week. And then you, you find over time that that consistency really starts to pay off for you. Um, and I can also say that, you know, one time a week, if you a lot of people time kind of think, oh, I can't do three days a week. So it's, there's no point. But when you really get into it, one time a week is 10 times better than no times a week. Two times a week is a little better than one time a week, but one time a week is a hundred percent increase. Better. 100 percent <laughs> exponential. Yeah. I mean, that's 52 workouts a year right there. And that's almost two months of working out just one day a week. So, and then you can just start there and, and work up from there. Um, and it doesn't matter how many times you fall off. It's how many times you kind of get back up, you know, cause people fall off all the time. I fall off and we see it all the time. And it's just, you know, you be patient, accept it, kind of try to look at, what happened in your schedule that made that you kind of fall off try to eliminate that or get rid of it you know as best you can and then and get right back on and start again i liked what you said because we do kind of come down on ourselves pretty hard and and yeah. you said you know you, you deserve this time it's okay the rest of the family you're, you're doing a lot to provide for them in one way or another but but this is a time just just a little increment of time for yourself Exactly. And, you know, you're running around doing all this stuff for your family and your husband, wife, whatever it is, and you don't really do anything for yourself. So it's important to really take care of that because that's what allows you to take care of everyone else better because now your energy is better. You think clear, every, you sleep better. And um, not only that, like, med, you, know, uh, you know, people always say you should like meditate or take that time to, you know, reflect. And that could be anything. It could be sitting there in the Buddha position, you know, 
meditating or it could be just going to the gym and letting out all of your stress from the day getting a good sweat on and then and then so it, it does a lot of things for different people but it's important to get in there <laughs> and it's okay if you fall off just kind of get back on yeah i was telling you before we went on the air you know it once i fell off it it, it was months even just going by and and wanting to do it but just just i don't know for one make one excuse after another yeah yeah you, you make the it's easy to make an excuse and then kind of enable the excuse you know like you'll make it and then uh, then you kind of like justify it, like, oh, I can't do it because of work. And then all of a sudden, because it just gets concrete in, like, oh, because of work, I can't make it because of my schedule. But you just have to, again, like prioritize and just make that big commitment and move things around to make it work. Because at the end of the day, the funny thing is that you're always going to be busy. You know, you're never not going to be less busy than you are today. And a lot of people like to look down the road and say, oh, you know, next month or in a year, but you won't, you'll never get less busy. In fact, you'll just get better at, you know, let's say, you know, you, whatever you do for your work, you'll just get better at that job. So you become more and more of an expert every day at doing that. So you get better with your time only to take on more tasks. So you still don't get more time to, to work out. You just have to schedule it in and just really understand and believe that core that at the core that you're just, you're never going to be less busy. Ben, why, that, cro why CrossFit? Like, I hear all these different things that you can do, obviously. Yep. Um, but why did you decide CrossFit? You liked that. Um, well, I was, I've been a trainer for over 10 years. I've been in the, in the gym myself since I was, like, a teenager. Um, and uh, we were always kind of doing, like, this functional training off and on. And then uh, all of a sudden, about four years ago, I tried out CrossFit, and I just it just clicked. And I knew instantly that it kind of culminated all the training that I've been doing. And uh, for me, it was just an eye opening. And then we, once we started putting clients onto that, we realized how beneficial it was in like a group environment, doing body weight exercises, functional training, um, the weight training with the strength training and doing like a lot of cardio. Um, you see it. And in that group environment, I mean, the results are just dramatic. I mean, people losing 20 pounds, 30 pounds. And in the beginning, you're like, oh, my gosh, this is insane. Like everybody's all these results. And then it just becomes pretty normal why is that the group environment is it because they're they're challenging each other or supporting each other or both 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 plus more yeah they um everybody's in there so there's like a friendly competition going on and plus people have the same schedules so you tend to see the same the same people so it's fun in there um you have the clock you have all of the professional coaches around so you don't want to kind of let them down you don't want to let the class down and uh it's just that something happens when you get kind of groups of people together that they all kind of feed off each other and not in like a, um, you know, not in a, a bad way at all. Everybody's it's real positive, real energetic and everybody, you always work harder with someone's with you than you would on your own. Do you just Every start single to, time. Do yeah. you start to recognize that you have your strengths and weaknesses? Maybe if you were by yourself, you'd keep pounding like, Oh, I stick at this. Instead you see, well, I could do this pretty good, but maybe not that. Exactly. Yeah. And that forces you to kind of hit on those weaknesses because the weaknesses can be, get, be turned into larger things and bigger problems like back pain or leg pains and things like that. When if you kind of, if you're at the gym and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this upper body thing, I'm just going to go back to the cardio because that's easy and I can just watch TV like that. But for us, we kind of safely put you in that position. And then you, at the end of the day, what that looks like is, you know, the lower back pain goes away. The results come in a lot faster and things like that. Okay. We're going to yeah. take a break. And we've been talking with Ben. Uh, let's see. Ben, let me see if I can do it. Uh, <laughs> Crimis. Crimis. It's kind of like Crimis. You know? <laughs> okay. Get that, From that, Box yeah. Fitness and CrossFit. Uh, in Haggis Town and Chester. So uh, we're going to continue talking with Ben, find out a little bit more as to why we can, we can do this. We can make 2015 happen. Stay with us. If you want to know what's going on, keep your radio right where it is. This is Newsline with Joyce Esty on WRNJ. Speak with anyone about exercise and they'll tell you. The key to maintaining your focus and your enthusiasm is to see results sooner rather than later, and especially not to go it alone. Now, the folks who run Synergy Physical Therapy and Fitness on Route 57 in Mansfield, they know this better than anyone, and they'll reward you with a membership discount for that friend you bring with you. That's right. When you join up with a partner, be it a friend, a relative, or your BFF, following an initial one-time assessment, that partner can join at a discount. 
and you needn't worry about heavy commitments. Heck, at Synergy Physical Therapy and Fitness, you need never worry about being locked into any contracts because there are no contracts to sign, ever. My, you said yourself this would be your year for action, not talk, right? New year, new you, remember? Check out the Synergy difference at Synergy Physical Therapy and Fitness, Route 57 Mansfield, behind Ruby Tuesdays. They're online at SynergyPhysicalTherapy.com. If somebody popped the question recently, and you know what question I'm talking about, and your answer was yes, congratulations. Now it's time to pop the cork at the beautiful Bellagirno Banquet Hall in Belvedere. On Saturday, March 14th, you're invited to be a guest at Bellagirno's Bridal Expo. It's a great way to meet a variety of wedding vendors all in one place, all at one time. You can look at bridal dresses, interview DJs, photographers, florists, travel experts, and more. Admission is free, and you'll even enjoy complimentary hors d'oeuvres and, of course, champagne. If you want to make your wedding extraordinary, this is a great place to start. So get it on your calendar now. Saturday, March 14th, noon till 4, at Bella Giorno in Belvedere. As a courtesy, an RSVP is appreciated. So let them know you're coming with a call to 908-475-0084. Then come and thoroughly enjoy the Bridal Expo at Bella Giorno in Belvedere. Why stay local and shop in Hackettstown? Because we've got great stores like these. Hi, this is Robin Jensen with Edward Jones. Most successful investors make their money not overnight, but over time, using a specific set of guidelines. At Edward Jones, we call these guidelines the rules of the road, and I'll share them with you every weekday morning on WRNJ. Find Westside Hair Care on Facebook and stay updated with the latest specials and news from Westside Hair. Or stop by Westside on Steiner Street for the latest trends in hair design for the whole family. Hey, it's Brian at the Grove Deli and Cafe on Willow Grove Street in Hackettstown, right across from HRMC. Our specialty sandwiches are epic. We offer homemade soups, creative salads, and daily lunch features. This is the place for breakfast or lunch. Get into the groove at the Grove. Every time you shop locally, it stimulates the local economy, preserves local jobs, and promotes a sense of community. And that is good for all of us. A message from your friends at the Hackettstown Business Improvement District. And now, back to Newsline with WRNJ News Director Joyce Efty. Thanks for staying with us. We're talking with Ben Grimace, and he is the owner of Box Fitness by CrossFit in Hackestown and Chester. Whereabouts in Hackestown, Ben? Uh, we are right by the train station over there, around 200 Valentine Street. Oh, okay. How yeah. long have you been there? We opened about uh, maybe a year and eight months ago. So it's been fun. Okay. Yeah. And, and you have classes. You say that that's the, that's the key. Yeah, we do all classes. Um, yeah, they're the best. You get, all, you get the people together doing the body weight movements, the strength movements, and the cardio all together in a group. And that's where they get the most effective workout. Everyone's accountable. But, um, yeah, there's about 46 classes a week. It's, it's all classes. So it's not your traditional gym where you kind of come in and don't really know what to do. You know, they come in, everything's coach-led. It's laid out from the minute you get in to the minute you live. It's almost leave. like having a private trainer. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's really exactly what it is. It's more of a school than a gym. It's like group personal training. Um, so classes aren't really too large. And so you get, you'd be surprised how much attention you get considering it's in a, a group. Because we know you, we, we learn you, we, you know all about your movements, anything you need extra of or less of. Okay. And and how you try to get to the back of the class so that you don't pick on them and yeah. all those fun things. Yeah. And, Wait a second. She's gone to the bathroom three times this session. Hold yeah. on. No. <laughs> yeah, we know. We keep an eye on it. We, you, know. <laughs> you do. Okay. <laughs> One of the things that you mentioned during the uh, break was accountability. Okay. So yeah. because because I think in terms of the like the hardest thing to overcome in the whole gym idea and going getting getting fit is the, is the mind. So once you make it over that big hurdle, the mind, uh, <laughs> then then the uh, sometimes it's tough to stay consistent and you've got uh this whole accountability thing that you you do with your clients yeah well, well once you get started um we have uh just again I, I, with the between the coaches and the classes there's so much accountability in there but then we actually take it a step further where um you know we're taking a making a commitment towards you just like you're committing towards your fitness routines in this case and if you don't come in let's say the next week um we start calling you 
And that goes on for quite a few weeks and months, actually. Or if we don't hear from you, you don't come in, you get phone calls. And that even gets to the point where we will potentially call your spouse. We call your work to kind of try to see where you're at. We want to do everything we can to keep you in, on track and committed to those original goals that you made to yourself. Wow. Um, yeah, versus like another gym where they just want 3,000 members and they don't care if you show up. Right. It's they the, almost it's, don't yeah. want you to show up. Yeah. We, we, well, there's only 250 people that we enroll per location. So it's real small. It's real tight knit. And uh, we want you there. We want you there consistently, three days a week, two days a week, whichever it is. Whatever it is. Even yeah. if it's that one day a week, but just to get started. Yeah. Yeah. And um, exactly. Yeah. And that mindset you said, you know, I spent a lot of time on, on that. And, you know, and, and someone might drive by the gym for three months, six months, and like just finally one day, and this is any gym, you know, finally one day you get the courage to kind of pull in. Right. And, you know, there was a reason why they did that. And that's actually, I said a core value before or earlier, but that's one of our core values is reason because like, you know, 95% of people out there want to exercise. Like we know that, you know, I know you want to lose weight. I know you want to lose body fat. You want to get tone, but there's a little more to that. You know, it's like, what do you want to do? You want to play with your grandkids. You want to be able to hike. You want to be able to just be active. You want to just get the most out of living in life. Um, and that's a reason, that's a real reason. So you need to actually get that and hold on to it because those days when you don't want to get up in the morning or it's cold out or you're feeling a little sick or your husband yelled at you or whatever it is, you got to hold on to that. That's gonna, it's gonna, what's going to help keep you consistent. And that's pretty much the only thing is just keeping that, that mindset. And, and that's so important. And you're absolutely right. The others are just little uh, ancillary things. What, what the real core reason for wanting to be there. There's so much more about life that you'll enjoy if you do this. Yeah. And by doing, you know, functional training, constantly varied, you know, every day it's a different workout, doing functional training. And you can do this anywhere. You can do it at home. You can do it at a different gym. You can do it at our place. Um, we've solved all the problems. That's why I like ours the best. But um you get the most out of life when you train that way versus doing a specific specialized type of training. When you train yourself generally, then you can kind of get express your fitness and get the most out of life everywhere because you can pick up things better. You could throw things better. You can walk better. You could run better. You can do anything that's different. You can try swimming today. You could try golfing tomorrow because you're kind of ready for it. You're you build your body into what something that can do anything. So you're you're kind of trained. We train in so many different functional exercises that um, we generalized everything. And First, I guess also it would make things that are usually arduous. I'm thinking, you know, either shoveling. Well, that's this time of year. But then there's always the all important yard work once the once the snow does go away. Yeah. We've got and and these are difficult tasks. But this will make those tasks that much more manageable. That's the whole point. We don't want you to be good at in the gym. We want you to be good outside of the gym. So. Yeah, like doing yard work. You want to be able to, you have to go do yard work tomorrow. You can go do it. No big deal. And the next day, you're not going to be sore or bedridden or pull your back from doing that. You know, and then the next day after that, you have to, you know, I'll go play with your grandkids or go pick up a bunch of stuff at the store or anything. You'll mulch your front yard. Like it, it doesn't matter. You know, sprint to the terminal at the airport and you're good. You're not going to be, <laughs> you know, down for the day. Or you can try a new hobby, new sports, really easy. Right, right, yeah. really. It's tough to keep that in the forefront because, you know, it's it's that, again, that big hurdle of, of your mind. Yeah, the, the mind, um, it's getting the encouragement when you're in there, you know, encouraging the other clients, encouraging, getting encouragement from the athletes, uh, the accountability and knowing your reason why you're being there and then making it fun and doing the best you can. Those are really all that stuff connected is what, you know, the total package that makes you so successful. And, and it's more than just like reaching your goals. It's about like a lifetime change. And, you know, just looking at it, like just getting the most out of life. Like we don't, it's not just a specific goal. It's a general, like we want you to just get better at everything. You mentioned, you said it real quick in there and that whole list of things fun. Yeah. And, and how, how often do you hear from people and they're just like, ah, oh. I don't want to do it. It's, just, fun. it's like yeah. ironing drudgery. How do you keep it fun? Oh, man, we love fitness. We just yell that all the time. We love <laughs> fitness. Um, uh, A little we, chant? Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> you know, at the end of class, we, like, break it down, actually, where we all put our hands in the circle and throw our arms up, you know, to a different thing. Maybe someone's birthday or a word on that how that class was. Um, we do a lot of events. Like we do a, a ton of charities. Actually, we have our big one coming up on March 21st. Um, we did like over $10,000 last year in charities. 
Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, we were pretty happy with that. And What are you doing on March 31st? Uh, it's a charity called uh, uh, Barbells for Boobs. It's a woman's, it's a mammogram charity, so we're hoping to raise $8,000 this cancer. year. Breast cancer. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, well, it's not just breast cancer, but it's men's and women's. It provides mammograms for, for people true. in need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's great. And last year we did around like 7,000. It was it's one of our biggest events, and we turned everything pink in the gym, and it's fun. Um, but that's on the 21st, but... Um, but events like that, sometimes we'll just have, we'll go for a hike. We'll go for, do a a social at the bar with all the people, you know, it's always different events and, and just the atmosphere in the class is fun. Like, no, we don't take anybody serious. We encourage you to kind of fall a little bit, you know, kind of push yourself a little bit so that you kind of like, Oh, that's my, my limit. Like, cool. We found it. Like, you didn't have to push too hard. Um, like it's fun to kind of try to do like a, you know, we call them like a, hollow rock or something where you're on your back rolling it's funny like we have fun with it and uh and it's just a great like a turtle on the back yeah so exactly (laughs) that's what it looks like yeah that's what i look like when i'm doing it and and it's 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 fun like we we laugh we we you know we break it down at the end of the class and um and yeah that's a big part of it and if it's not fun you're not gonna you're having a good time then you know that you won't you won't work out as best you can if you're without having a good time and like that kind of disguises it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're there if they do fall to help get them back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Which is as opposed to walking in, getting the, uh, the first time, this is how you use this. This is how you use that, all the different equipment. And, and I know after a while, my mind is just, I, I'm not really sure. Do no. <laughs> yeah. You, you're, we only have one piece of machinery in there and that's a, uh, a concept two rower. Other than that, it's just an open room with the weights all around it. It doesn't look like a normal gym at all. You walk in and we call it a, a adult playground. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's just that, you know, like a rowing machine, it mimics being on a, a crew boat. So right. it's just like you're rowing a boat and that's the only machine we have. And oh. they get, they stand up straight against the wall. and They're there if you need them. Yeah. We use them often. We were just using them yesterday, but yeah, they're, they're fun. Great. How do you know, how, how do you know that the person is doing the right exercises for, for them? For Yeah. So, well, uh, for the most part, it's the same workout that when everyone comes in. So it's the same workout that everyone does, but um, it's universally scalable. So it doesn't matter if you're, we have members who are 13 up to over 60 and everyone can do the same class. I always say like my grandma to Lance Armstrong can be in the same class because the intensity and the is totally up to you. And we prescribe, we call it like RXing and prescribing. So we prescribe the correct weights, call it load, for you that's needed for, that will be safely for you to do that workout as best you can. Okay. So, you know, you might have a class where one person's doing 50 pounds, another person's doing 10 pounds, another person's doing 30 pounds, and we're all doing the same workout. Um, you know, the, the great line with CrossFit is uh, the, the needs of an Olympic athlete and my grandma and our grandparents vary by um, necessity, grandma, not kind. I know, I keep reading grandma. grandma. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, my, you know, grandma and an Olympic athlete need the same exact training, exactly the same. They just uh, the Olympic athlete needs a little different degree. They need a lot more intensity and faster this or that. But they still both need to be able to pull something, uh, step up on something, throw something, pick up something from the ground to the mid height. But grandma needs to do it you know, a different weight than the Olympic athlete, but they still need to be trained exactly the same, but the weights are different. Yeah. Maybe with her walker around for support. Yeah. Or, or, Okay. I mean, I'm I'm identifying with the geriatric more than the Olympic athlete, believe you me. Just giving those big extremes because it's everything in the middle. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, you are enthusiastic about what you do. And I'm sure that that is something that, you know, shows for your clients. Yeah. It comes through the whole coaching staff is, is, Dude, we all love fitness. <laughs> okay, and hopefully it's, it is something that that others, you know, it's contagious and 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 uh, and they enjoy it after a while as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. How, how, what consistency? How, how are your consistency uh, levels? Like, the, what percentage of people continue to come back? Uh, that's week after week. That's pretty impressive. We have over ninety three percent of our clients who get started with us stay with us long term. So ninety three percent of the people who who join us stay. The only really the only people who ever leave us are are move. That's it. They just move. You know, they move to move south to the warmth, or they move close to the city for work, or something like that. And 
Okay. That's about it. All right. Yeah. Interesting talking to you this morning, truly. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, uh, you know, just your pearls of wisdom as far as it, making it happen and, and the reason for it. It's not a vanity thing. It's really not. It's, it, it, it will improve you. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, in, inside the gym, we mentioned on that one break, there's there's no mirrors. You know, you don't have to wear makeup or care about what you're wearing when you come into the gym. There, there's no mirrors. Nobody's looking at you like that. You don't need to look at yourself in the mirror looking funny or doing, doing something wrong. Yeah, it just doesn't even exist. Okay, um, good. Yeah, and I was Go gonna ahead. say too that uh, you know a lot of this stuff that we do, you can do at home on your own. So um, if anybody is interested in doing any workout like that, at getting a couple of them, if they just email me, um, I, I'll send them over like ten exercises that they can do at home, so they can have a couple of months of workouts right there to do. Ben, where do they email you? Cool. It's uh, just info at uh, boxfitnessusa.com. Info just, at boxfitnessusa.com. If I can it. write it, yeah. they can too. Yeah, just <laughs> you know, just say you heard me on Newsline with Joyce and we'll send you over some workouts. Very good. And, and uh, as far as learning more, do you have a phone number that it would be good for them to? Uh, yeah, uh, the website is great. We put a ton of stuff on there. It's, uh, again, it's, it's boxfitnessusa.com. And, um, mm -hmm. and there, there's you can see we have all these videos on. Uh, you know, the member testimonials is pretty neat to all the success stories. And there's these really neat videos and that kind of gives you a big handle of, of what we're doing over there. It's a lot more than the gym. Okay. So you may have a few eggs and pains in the beginning, but those are good ones, not as opposed to bad ones. Yeah. You know, it takes you 40, 50 years to get out of shape. It's okay to take a couple months to get back in shape. <laughs> You know, it's progress, not perfection, right? You know, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Progress, not yeah. perfection. You're waking up your body. So, you know, sometimes it gets a little achy and but you move it. You're made to move. We're made to move till we're 99 years old. And that, that's the core of it at the end of the day. Okay. Thanks again for being here. It's yeah. really good. Thank talking you so much to you. for having me in here. And I hope we uh, get some people out of the car and into the gym just by, by hearing yeah, what just kids. Hold that reason and stay consistent. Yeah. It's not just for you. It's for all around you and, and just make your life so much better. Exactly. Excellent. When we return, we're going to talk about what's going on in Hackestown schools. I hope you will stay with us. <laughs> Keeping you in touch with people who make the news. It's Newsline with Joyce Esty every Thursday morning at 10, right here on WRNJ 1510. While other dealers are having a weekend event, Hackett's Down Hyundai's presidential savings are so big, they're having a month-long president's event. Buy or lease any new Hyundai, and they'll make your first three payments. Or take advantage of zero.